the Islamic Republic of Iran, which has one of the worst women's rights records in the world, has just been appointed to the UN's Women's Rights Commission, officially named the Commission on the Status of Women. Having obtained the necessary majority, I declare elected Japan, Lebanon, Pakistan, China, Iran, to the Commission on the Status of Women for a four-year term beginning. The UN describes the Commission as the principal global intergovernmental body exclusively dedicated to the promotion of gender equality and the empowerment of women. But the election has left many human rights groups and activists astonished and outraged. The executive director of UN Watch, a Geneva-based human rights group, responded with this. Electing the Republic of Iran to protect women's rights is like making an arsonist into the town fire chief. It's absurd and morally reprehensible. One Iranian women's rights activist called the news surreal. All the laws of the Islamic Republic are anti-women. As a woman, I am not allowed to ride a bicycle. I'm not allowed to travel abroad without getting permission from my husband. I'm not allowed to dance. I'm not allowed to enter a stadium. I'm not allowed to be a judge. I'm not allowed to be a president. I'm not even allowed to sing solo. Kylie Moore Gilbert, an Australian academic held hostage in Iran for 804 days, listed the numerous ways the Iranian regime oppresses women, such as sending them to prison for not wearing a hijab. She asks, why then did the UN name one of the world's worst oppressors of women as a world judge and guardian of gender equality and the empowerment of women? Iran's election to the Women's Rights Commission adds another tick mark to the list of dubious things the UN has done lately that some say undermine its credibility. The UN has faced heavy criticism for placing some of the world's most prolific human rights abusers on its Human Rights Council, such as China, Cuba, and Venezuela. The UN also came under fire after being exposed for giving the names of Chinese dissidents and human rights activists to the Chinese communist regime, and then going after the whistleblower who exposed the scandal. The UN Watch is calling on US Ambassador Linda Thomas-Greenfield to condemn the UN's election of Iran, and it's calling on lawmakers worldwide to demand their governments reveal how they voted.